Today's Gospel, Monday, May 31, is from St. Luke, chapter 1, verse 39 to 56. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste, to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear Him in every generation. He has shown the strength of His arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich He has sent away empty. He has come to the help of His servant Israel For he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord Today's reflection is from Sister Jen Kasumbal of the BEM. Mama Mary has always been a model I emulate. Her simplicity, kindness, patience, obedience, humility, and selflessness amaze me. Today's Gospel on the Visitation centers on her responding to the prompting of the Holy Spirit to set out on a mission of charity. In spite of her bulging tummy, she never hesitated to assist her likewise pregnant cousin, Elizabeth, not to mention that she had to travel through hilly roads just to reach her destination. What a selfless act. What truly amazed me about this great woman is her act of faith and obedience to God. This was well demonstrated when she said these words to the angel Gabriel, I am the Lord's servant and I am willing to do whatever He wants. This tells us something of Mary's relationship with God. Her faith was obviously deep, deep enough for her to offer herself as a willing servant. Are you a servant of God? How is your relationship with Him? Are you willing to do whatever He wants? Remember, Mary's faith and obedience made her blessed among all and queen of heaven and earth. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.